All right, guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here, and today we have some important news. Starting with Aura's B650E Tachyon gets released, MSI RX 7900 GPUs are incoming, Asus introduces RTX 4090 and 4080 White Edition, same goes to Galax, they're also introducing 4090 and 4080 White Edition, RTX 47 Ti gets spotted, and lastly, AMD FSR 2.0 supported games are here. So first of all, we have AM5 Tachyon, basically the Aorus Extreme AM5 uh, Tachyon on the boat that they're going to be bringing here. And that's the B650E chips, chipset that they're going to be coming with. And that is, of course, the B650E stands for Extreme Overclocking. So yeah, this card will overclock like crazy because it's extreme. That's the chipset that's going to support. And of course, the beefy cooling, as you can see, it just explains why this card is going to be crazy uh, overclocking friendly i guess and we have more uh that's the box basically and if you look into it that's the b650e aurus tachyon yeah that's the confirmation well, we can just tell you know but yeah this card is definitely gonna be performing like crazy for overclockers enthusiasts so that's gonna be nice uh, hopefully the pricing will be great that's what i'm hoping for and next up we have msi they are uh basically tweeting this that Available soon, and of course the video uh, or the Twitch for the AM AMD Radeon. And well, there is a like a misconception that people thought they're gonna be bringing in the well the reference card of AMD, but not really because Andres Schilling just reported this, and it's he says that reports MSI will not have any Radeon RX 7900 XT or XTX cards. Uh, that's gonna that's, that's not true. Basically, MSI is skipping the made by AMD MBA designs, and basically they're gonna be presenting their own custom designs, and it's they're coming in Q1 of 2023. So, no uh, reference designs from uh, MSI here. Basically, they're gonna be going with their custom designs, which is likely, you know. So yeah, that's it. We also got Aorus Trix GeForce RTX 4090 a White Edition, and well, this looks nice basically for white builders. Personally, I am not a biggest fan of white, but if you are, you have something that basically Asus is covering for you because that's that's uh, I mean, to be honest, that's a good looking card. It's kind of, I mean, it's a, like a box card, you know. I'm not a big fan of those because now we do have more of a shaped cards, you know, some curvatures. But this one doesn't really have anything this time around from Asus. But yeah, I mean, if you're interested, Asus got it covered for the white builders, of course. Same goes to Galax. They're bringing in their uh, GeForce RTX 4090. Uh, basically, I don't know which model this is. Probably, uh, it's not mentioned here, but basically, uh, this is the white edition for the Galax the GeForce RTX 4090. Yeah, so similar case. Uh, like Asus, and they're gonna they're gonna be bringing in the same thing, and yeah, this card has RGB. Like that's some crazy RGB, I have to say. But yeah, this card looks good too, and for a white card, it looks fitting. I have to say. Next up, we have a Geekbench score of twenty two fourteen thousand six hundred fifty four, and this this is for uh for RTX forty seventy Ti, I believe, and this is mentioned right here. Nvidia GeForce RTX forty seventy Ti. So this is the first, I believe, an open benchmark for uh, RTX 4070 Ti. And well, basically it's getting uh, around uh, this amount of score, which is if we don't have the comparison, but we might understand that this car is getting tested. It means that it's going to be releasing soon enough because, I mean, it got tested in Geekbench. And that's a sign, I believe. So yeah, it's, it's it got spotted here. And I believe the release time will be sooner than we can expect. And yeah, hopefully the same thing I'm going to repeat, the pricing. I hope that the pricing won't be crazy. Before heading into the next news, I would like to, uh, uh, you know, say this, that only 97.5% are not subscribed. Wait, why would I say only? 97.5% is a huge number. Please do subscribe. It would be very much helpful. And yeah, back to the video. And lastly, AMD Radeon just tweeted this and basically they're just, well, talking about their FSR 2.0 supported games. And well, I have to say, a port, uh, supported games for FSR 2.0 are in big numbers because 101 games are support av available right now and also upcoming. So basically 54 games are available for now 
and the rest will be upcoming in the following uh, months or so on. So you got plenty of games like Aster Aster Gauss or I can't really spell because I think this is T or maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, uh, of course, Blood Hunt, uh, Vampire Blood Hunt. I've never played that game, but hey, like it's available. Cepheus Protocol, Chernobyl Light. Okay, that's a pretty interesting name. Uh, Choose Your Charles, very interesting game, I have to say, uh, very spooky. Cyberpunk, obviously. Deathloop, we got to uh, see that directly from AMD. And of course, Death Stranding Director's Cut, uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Destroy All Humans 2, oh, they had released a version 2 of that, interesting. Dying Light 2, of course, very fun game. Uh, Edge of, again, they're using the same kind of sword, I believe. Hmm. I believe, are they the same developers, you know? Um, probably not, but yeah. Edge of, I, I guess this is T. Edge of the Abyss. Everspace 2. Evil Reap. Okay. Farming Simulator 2022. A fun game. You should try it. Forza Horizon 5. Supported. Obviously, we know that. And, well, the performance uh, you get from Forza Horizon 5 is crazy. Like, literally. Genshin Impact. Ghostwire Tokyo. God of War, of course, that's the previous God of War, uh, God of, not the Ragnarok, I believe it's not supported yet, unfortunately, but um, it might come in the future. Gotham Knights, obviously, Gungrave Gore, there's plenty of games, I, I, mean, I can't really spell all of them, but there are some, like, you know, unique, I mean, not unique, famous names like Rip Breaker, Witcher 3, Saint Row, oh, Scorn, a disgusting game, I have to say, but anyway, Grounded. And of course, Skull and Bones is going to be upcoming. That's uh, one of the anticipated games of Ubisoft the next year, I believe. So, would like to watch out for that. We, all got, we also got Forspoken and Frostpunk 2. Such a great game, I have to say. Hogwarts Legacy, another game that you should watch out for because this is a... Well, if you're a Harry Potter fan, of course, you need to look into this. We also got F1 2022, Outlast Trials. That's... Uh, well, as a spooky game, that's going to be coming soon. And we got Vampire. Uh, can't really see the name, but yeah. So basically, 101 game. 54 of them are supported right now. And the rest will be coming soon. And then probably next year or, you know, uh, not too far off. The, the game's going to be releasing very much soon. All these games are coming, like, next year or so on. So, yeah. Excited to try all these games, even though I'm not, I might not try all these games, but, I mean, if you want to, FSR 2.0 is available for smooth experience, I believe.